Hello everyone, this is Viknesh. In this video, I'm going to explain how to, how to create a blueprint in Zippo Sierra. So to know more about your, to know more about the blueprint, I will share this link in that uh, video description. You can uh, go through that uh, document which they are available in that Zippo portal. So you may get to know more about that uh, blueprint. So uh, let me go into that CRM. So, here I'm going to show you how to create a blueprint and how it is working uh, in Azure Boot CRM. So, so I'm just taking that uh, deal model, I mean that uh, potential model. So I'm going to create a blueprint for this uh, deal model. For this, I'm just going to uh, settings and uh, going to that blueprint. Now I'm creating a new blueprint create a blueprint. So I have to give a name for my blueprint. I'm just given a name as a test blueprint. I'm just choosing the model, uh, sorry, module as a potential. And here I have to choose a layout. So currently I have only one layout. If I have any, if you have any uh, more than one or uh, more than three or something, you can choose a layout which you want. So I'm just uh, choosing the standard layout of which is available in uh, default. Now I have to choose a pick. So here it will it will show you the list of uh, pick list of fields which you have in your potential model. Pick list in the sense it's a drop down. So what are the drop down which you have in your uh, potential module? As of now, uh, currently I'm choosing that potential model. So it's showing that the drop down which is available in that um, potential model. I'm just choosing the uh, stage. So based on the uh, stage field, I'm going to create a blueprint. So next, I have to choose a criteria. So if you want to set any criteria for triggering that blueprint, you can choose that one. Otherwise, uh, we just skip this. So now I'm going to create a blueprint. It's just it's a, just a drag and drop to uh, create a blueprint in your uh, CR. I'm just uh, creating a blueprint. So I'm just choosing a qualification. Before that, I would like to show you the stages which we have in my blueprint. So these are the stages which I have in my stage drop down. So next to that, I'm just choosing need analysis. Then I'll create as like the format which we have in my uh, the stage drop down. Then I'm just tracking a value, value proportion, decision maker, proposal code, negotiation and review, close to one, close to last, close marks to completion, all right. So now I'm just starting uh, a defeat. I'm going to have to add a state transition between uh, each and uh, every stage. So I'm just given a name as a need analysis. Okay, instead of that, I can give a stage name as a step one. to Step six. Step seven. Step 
so a uh, close lot or a close lost due to a competitor it may happen whether in a step one or it may happen in a step four or five or six or any any time it may happen so i make this one as a common step so i given the name as a common uh, So now what I'm going to do is I'm just making this one as a common transition. It means the user can choose this step whenever the, they are in a qualification or need analysis, whatever the stage they are in, they can choose this step. I'm just removing only the closed door because after we are closing the deal, we are not making marking this as a loss, right? So I'm just choosing that one. All right. So I'm just uh, publishing this. Now I'm just going to create a new deal. I'm just saving this one. I'm just giving a moment, sir. I think so. Now, after I'm saying this, based on the blueprint, uh, you can see the transition. So when you click to view config dash, you can see after the qualification, when I click a step one, it will go to need analysis stage. If I click uh, common shape, uh, it will go to close lost. When I click uh, common step two, it will go to close lost completed. So uh, you can give a name as like uh, what you whatever you want. So for the demo purpose, I'm just given a name as a step one, step two, step three, something. Right. So I'm just choosing a step one now. Now it will it goes to a step two. Now you can see the current state was a need analysis. You can see the stages also over here. When I click a step two, it goes to step three. Same like that, whenever you click a particular step, it goes to the next one. For example, before uh, going to uh, step four, during uh, in the step three, you want to capture an attachment or a note, whatever the detail you want, you can uh, add it in your blueprint. Let me show you that. So I'm just choosing this. Now you can see, you can here, you can restrict the users or uh, whatever the users you want to provide us as for example you want uh, this blueprint to this blueprint or uh, this particular stage you want to provide uh, this stage particular stage to be assessed by your uh, ceo or a sales manager kind of thing you can add a receipt over here as of now i have a uh, only uh, two users so based on the users you can choose or uh, or based on the rule you want uh, devices you can choose over here so except that uh, record owner and the manager this steps can't be accessed by the other user so like uh, these types of restriction you can uh, set over here also while uh, making this transaction if you want making a note as a mandatory or if you want uh, attachment for also you can add additional things for example i'm just uh, making a uh, Type as a mandatory while making this transition. I'm just republishing this. I'm just refreshing this record. Now I'm clicking the step three. So now it asked me to upload a data nodes and attachments. And also I have to choose the type. So like this, you can configure your blueprint and you can configure the mandatory information which you want to capture during the transition. The details you can uh, 
configured in your blueprint. So hope this helps you. So here, yeah, anyways, you just command uh, in that below video. Thanks.